You just want to avoid the 401 right now traveling westbound through Mavis as quite an unusual problem this morning, Emily, but it is creating delays. All right, thanks, Rachel. Something else that could be creating delays is a few isolated showers throughout the area. Some areas did see some isolated storms yesterday, and they have that risk again today. We do have showers moving up along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay, seeing some cells down towards Lake Erie, just moving over Lake Ontario right now. The thunderstorm risk is there for this afternoon, but it's mostly going to be down towards the southwest, especially for that threat of severe. So strong winds, small hail, heavy downpours. We are in a risk of non-severe, very isolated thunderstorms throughout the day today. We're not going to see a ton of rain. We're looking at about 5 to 15 millimeters, but of course, if we do see some isolated thunderstorms, we could see more rainfall. Now, as it moves through today, we've got pockets of moisture firing up, could see a few isolated cells. There goes one right there. So by this afternoon, things could be a little bit stormy. It's going to be warm again, temperatures heating up. We're looking at daytime highs close to the 20 degree mark, and we do have a cool down later on this week. Hi there, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It is Monday, it is May the 11th. I'm Emily Vukovic. Rachel Schutzen's in for Tom Reynolds again this week. We'll get to her traffic update in just a few moments, but first, take a look at this. It was really hit and miss, and that's exactly what you get with these daytime heating thunderstorms. Looking at the radar right now, you can see that we do have the risk of related thunderstorms. That number could certainly go up. All right, we'll talk more about our long-range forecast, which includes a cool down, unfortunately. But first, here's Rachel with traffic. Thanks, Rachel. Well, as you can see, we do have the risk of isolated showers. You can see the pockets of moisture firing up. Chance of a few isolated thunderstorms moving in later on this evening. This is tonight, Monday, tonight at 10 p.m. So it's really going to last all day into tonight. Tomorrow, that risk will continue. It's going to be slight. We'll see a little bit more sunshine, but cloud cover and the chance for a few isolated showers, possibly some thunderstorm activity. The cool down really hits us on Wednesday, and we drop pretty significantly. We're going to be seeing temperatures back to April value, so well below our seasonal average. But as we get closer to the weekend, uh, we've got another low that's going to be moving in. So make sure you get out and enjoy the little bits of sunshine that we do have this week. Looking at temperatures, well, tomorrow doesn't look too bad, but Wednesday, chi they're chilly. At this Hi there, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Monday. It is May the 11th. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend, Mother's Day weekend. Before we get into more forecast details, take a look at this. They like to ski. <laughs> If they're watching at any point in time online, they're going to think, oh, gosh, what is she talking about? <laughs> uh, they weren't incredibly consistent. They were very, very hit or miss, very isolated, non-severe cells firing up. Our temperatures certainly taking a big dive this weekend, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But first, no, okay, I thought we were going to check in with our storm. All right, time to check out the long-range forecast. We do have that risk for a few isolated thunderstorms today. The severe risk is going to be more so down towards the southwest. Uh, we do have that risk through London and then through Windsor. Uh more intense cells firing up. Rainfall amounts, we're looking at less than 50 millimeters for us through the GTA, but of course, if we do see some thunderstorm activity, those rainfall amounts could be going up. As you take a look at how it plays out, by later on this afternoon, by about six, we're expecting to see a few showers move into the area, and the risk of isolated showers and thunderstorms continue into tonight and into early tomorrow morning before we do start to clear out. Now, we are going to be seeing a little bit of a better day tomorrow in terms of sunshine and that risk of showers. It's there, but it's more minimal than it is today. Our cool down, it's going to be fairly dramatic. Come Wednesday, we're only looking at temperatures into the low teens. Daytime high of 13. Good morning. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thank you so much for joining us here on this Monday. It is May the 11th. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend and enjoyed that record-breaking heat in many areas. It was gorgeous. We saw tons of sunshine. Temperatures were soaring. This week, things are going to change. I'll talk about that in a minute. But first, well, we're seeing a few isolated showers. There is the higher potential for those amounts to go up. Now, the long range forecast, we do have a cool down on the way. I'll let you know how cold it's going to get in just a moment. But first, here's Rachel with an update on traffic. 
Yeah, that is a bit of a mess to kick off your Monday morning. Now, for us, we do have showers in the forecast. The potential is there for some isolated thunderstorms. You can just see these little pockets of moisture kind of firing up throughout the day today. It's going to be mostly later on this afternoon through this evening and even in through the overnight. <clears throat> Excuse me. And through Shelburne, we could see isolated thunderstorms firing up. Very similar forecast for early tomorrow morning and even into the afternoon, we may see a few isolated showers, but tomorrow, uh, less risk. Now, as we get closer to Wednesday, temperatures are going to be dropping. We actually have a little bit of Arctic air filtering in. I know, after that weekend, <laughs> but it's true, we have it. Enjoy the sunshine midweek, however, because by the weekend, we are looking at more of a potential for a few isolated showers. Typical spring-like weather throughout southern Ontario, that area of low pressure moving in. Only 13 for Wednesday, 14 for Thursday, and then we gradually start to warm up as we get closer to the weekend. Thanks so much, Rachel. Well, for us today, we're looking at a fairly decent day. Before we break down our forecast, including a cool down, let's take a look at this must-see video. It's a welcome at this time of year. All right, we do have the rest of the season isolated, non-severe thunderstorms throughout the G GTA, mostly for this afternoon, where the cells could fire up to be severe levels, meaning very strong uh, wind, heavy downpours, small-sized hail. That's going to be more so down towards the southwest. Rainfall amounts less than 15 millimeters, but of course, if we do see some thunderstorm activity, those numbers could go up. We're going to see little pockets of moisture firing up throughout the GTA today, mostly for this afternoon later on into this evening, and then thunderstorms continuing to fire up throughout the overnight tonight. That risk continues through the early part of tomorrow morning, and then we do start to clear out. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit of a nicer day. Temperatures really starting to cool down midweek. I think this is important for you to see. We're looking at 13 degrees for Wednesday, April highs for Thursday, and then we gradually warm up as we get closer to the weekend. Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Monday, it is May the 11th. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend and you enjoyed those record-breaking temperatures. Unfortunately, we do have a cool down on the way. I'll talk more about that coming up and possibly even an isolated thunderstorm throughout the day today. We are in a non-severe, very isolated risk down towards the southwest. The risk is a little bit higher. Temperatures are a little bit warmer. Rainfall amounts less than 15 millimeters, unless, of course, we do see some isolated thunderstorms, and those rainfall amounts could certainly go up. As you can see, we've got pockets of moisture and the risk for a few isolated thunderstorms today, tonight, and into tomorrow morning. Our temperatures stay relatively seasonal for tomorrow, but they do cool down. For example, by Wednesday, we're only seeing a daytime high of 13 degrees. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Rachel. She has an update on your morning commute. Murphy's Law. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, today is going to be another decent day. Could see showers and isolated thunderstorms. We'll talk about that in a moment. But first, uh, we'll reflect on our record-breaking heat and what other people in the United States are dealing with. Take a look at this. I don't know how welcome it would be. Now, for us, we're seeing isolated showers. The potential is there for a few isolated thunderstorms, possibly later on this afternoon, this evening, and through the overnight, and then again tomorrow morning, early tomorrow morning. Still seeing a little bit of that heat and humidity building through. We do have that risk of isolated, non-severe thunderstorms for the GTA, but down towards the southwest, that's where we could see the threat for some small-sized hail, some strong winds, heavy downpours. Less than 50 millimeters of rain, but of course, if we do see thunderstorms, that number could go up. Here are the pockets of moisture, mostly later on this afternoon and in through this evening, but I wouldn't be surprised if we did see an isolated thunderstorm before that. We are going to see that risk of isolated thunderstorms continuing tonight and into tomorrow morning. Then that dissipates. We'll see a clearer day tomorrow, but a cool down is on the way, so temperatures are going to be dropping fairly significantly. And by Wednesday, we're actually only going to be seeing daytime highs into the low teens. We're talking like April daytime highs. Here's Rachel with a quick preview on traffic. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Monday. It is the 11th of May, and I hope you got out to enjoy some of that glorious weekend. Heat and humidity, we loved it. The heat and humidity that stirred up in the area, and I believe today they're going to be in Kansas. We're going to be checking in with Mark Robinson and Jacqueline Whittle a little bit later on this morning, so make sure you stay with us for that. Today, we do have the risk for a few showers. Those numbers could certainly go up. We'll talk more about the cool down that's on the way this week, but first, let's check in with Kevin Yard. He joins us in beautiful Port Credit. Kevin? Hi there. Thanks for joining us here at the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Monday. It is May the 11th. And before we get to our weather details, take a look at this must-see video. Incredible, isn't it? 
All right, Storm Hunters, they're back. Mark Robinson and Jacqueline Whittle have been down through the United States since last week. They've been covering a lot of active weather. Here's what they had to say the last time we checked in. All right, thanks so much, Mark and Jacqueline. We'll check back in with you guys a little bit later on today. We have the risk to see a few isolated, non-severe thunderstorms throughout the GTA today, but down towards the southwest where we do have that severe risk, I mean, we could see some small-sized hail, some strong winds, some heavy downpours. Rainfall amounts, we're looking at less than 15 millimeters from much of southern Ontario, unless, of course, we do see some thunderstorm activity, and then, that, of course, that number could go up. Little pockets of moisture firing up throughout the day today, mostly later on this afternoon, through this evening, and through the overnight. That thunderstorm risk continues into early tomorrow morning. Good morning. It's Monday. It is May the 11th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. Today we could see a little bit of active weather. Temperatures are still going to be quite mild. Not as hot as they were over the weekend, but we're still going to be above our seasonal average. We do have the risk, however, of seeing a few isolated thunderstorms. Now we do have a cool down coming up in the long range. By Wednesday, we're looking at temperatures only hitting April daytime highs. So we're looking at 13, 14 degrees for Wednesday, Thursday. But don't worry, it's going to be short-lived. I'll have all those details in your long range. First, Let's check in with Kevin Yard. He joins us from beautiful Port Credit. How's it feeling out there this morning, Kevin? Well, the forecast looks a little bit better. Well, we do have a few isolated showers in the area. We could see an isolated thunderstorm. But that's going to be happening later on this afternoon, more so into this evening. And then the risk continues through the overnight. You can see some cells firing up near Shelburne by 10 o'clock tonight. And then continuing through early tomorrow morning. I do want to show you the cool down in our temperatures. We are going to be seeing temperatures drop to April like daytime highs for Wednesday and Thursday, but it will be short lived, warming up by the. All right, thanks so much, Kevin. Temperatures warming up today. We're going to see daytime highs around 19 degrees. We'll talk more about that coming up, but first, uh, we'll talk more about that coming up in Colorado this weekend. They saw hail, they saw tornadoes, and they saw a beautiful rainbow behind a tornado. Just incredible. Oh, in Denver, they saw snow. <laughs> imagine. Okay, we do have a thunderstorm risk today, not severe in nature for the most part through the GTA, but down towards the extreme southwest, that's where we can see some severe cells firing up, strong winds, heavy downpours, the potential for some small-sized hail is there as well. Now, this cold front is going to stir up uh, the risk for more isolated thunderstorms, not only for this afternoon, but through this evening, and then again through the overnight and early tomorrow morning. Behind the cold front, we are going to be seeing our temperatures cool down. Still could be picking up a few isolated showers, but we do have a little bit of Arctic air on the way that's really uh, going to make a huge difference come midweek. We're talking about 14, 15 degrees for Wednesday. Little chilly. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Rachel. She's got a quick preview on traffic. Thanks, Kevin. Well, we saw record-breaking heat over the weekend where other areas, not so much. Other areas in the United States areas saw snow, some areas saw hail, and some areas even saw some tornadoes. We'll talk more about that coming up. For us, we are looking at showers throughout the area this morning. Uh, we are seeing kind of thunderstorms dissipate over the lake, just like they did over the weekend. I know Mississauga saw quite a bit of rain, some thunderstorm activity, but as soon as those cells hit the water, they cooled down, and that was it. They fizzled out. Now, we do have that risk of firing up again today, non-severe thunderstorms for much of the GTA, anywhere along the shores of Lake Ontario. But along Lake Huron and down towards Lake Erie, that's where we could see some severe cells firing up when that cold front hits. We still have kind of a lot of muggy, humid air in the area. Rainfall amounts less than 15 millimeters, but of course if we do see some thunderstorm activity that could go up. We are going to continue to see the risk for little pockets of moisture firing up throughout the day today. Uh, mostly late afternoon, evening, and then again in through the overnight we could see some isolated thunderstorms firing up. That risk continues into tomorrow morning and I do want to highlight the cool down that we do have coming up midweek. We're only looking at temperatures around 13 degrees for Wednesday. 14 for Thursday, but don't worry, it's short-lived. We warm up just in time for the long weekend. Here's Rachel now with a quick traffic preview. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Monday, it is May the 11th, and we're looking at another fairly decent day. We do have the risk for some isolated showers, possibly even some thunderstorms throughout the day today. It's almost just a continuation of the weekend. All right, we're going to check in with Kevin Yard. He joins us in beautiful Port Credit this morning. And Kevin, I understand you're down at the Rowing Club. How are things looking there? Kevin, do you hear me? Kevin, Kevin. <laughs> He's like standing on the dock with his hands in his pockets, just looking around, checking out the scenery. 
All right, maybe we'll check in with Kevin a little bit later. But first, maybe we'll check in with traffic. No? Are we doing traffic? I can't hear him. Can you hear him? No, I can't hear anything. I'm here. <laughs> Okay, we're going traffic. Kevin doesn't know what's going here. on. Here. All right, here's Rachel. <laughs> I'm here. I can hear you. Okay, let's get into this traffic report. There is a lot going on out on the 401. I want to start off by showing you what's happening in Mississauga. So this here is the 401 westbound, and right now we are looking at some pretty heavy delays. Now, Emily, this afternoon, things could get a little wild in terms of the thunderstorms. Yeah, we do have the potential, especially down towards the southwest, where we do have a little bit more heat and humidity firing up. So say kind of Windsor to the London area. We've got that chance for isolated showers. It's mostly later on this afternoon through this evening and then again through the overnight. But daytime heating is going to play a really big factor in the severity of these storms. See this blue up here? That's snow. We're not going to see snow, but we are certainly going to be feeling the colder air come midweek. By Wednesday, we're looking at an April daytime high, only a high of 13 degrees. I'm Emily Vukovic. Today is Monday. It is the 11th of May. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully you're able to get out and enjoy some of that heat, humidity and sunshine over the weekend. Now for us today, we do have the chance for a few isolated showers, possibly even some thunderstorms, only because that daytime heating mixing with that cold front, a lot of heat and humidity that could certainly spark some severe cells. All right, we're going to check in with Kevin. He is joining us live from Port Credit this morning. And Kevin, it does look a little bit foggy behind you there as well. All right, thanks so much, Rachel. Now that fog may stick around for a better part of the morning until the sun comes out and starts to dry it off. We are going to be seeing the potential risk for isolated showers, possibly even some thunderstorms throughout the day today. Once this cold front hits later on this afternoon and in through tonight, that elevates our risk. Could see some more severe cells from London down towards Windsor. Behind this, we're going to be seeing an ushering of cold air moving in. By Wednesday, we're actually only looking at a daytime high of 13 degrees. Thanks, Kevin. Well, we've been seeing that risk of isolated showers and thunderstorms continuing through the overnight and into early tomorrow morning. A lot of that wave of moisture has started to dissipate and track its way east. We do have that isolated risk for a few thunderstorms throughout the day today. Isolated non-severe for Toronto in through Barrie over towards Owen Sound in through the Niagara region. But anywhere London and south, anywhere through kind of uh, Windsor, uh, through Sarnia, even in through Grimsby, Kitchener, Waterloo, not necessarily. You're kind of just kind of right on the cusp of that. We could see some severe cells firing up, small hail, the potential for heavy downpours and strong winds. Not ruling out tornadic activity, but it's really going to depend on that daytime heating and the wind shear. All the ingredients have to come together properly for that. Less than 15 millimeters of rain, unless, of course, we do see an isolated thunderstorm and that number could go up. It's going to be mostly later on this afternoon through the evening where we see the weather fire up, the active weather. We are going to still see that risk of isolated thunderstorms through the overnight and into early tomorrow morning. And then it will taper off. Temperatures, however, are going to be... Uh, a bit of a different story. They're not, they're going to taper off as well, but they're, they're not going to go up. They're going to go down. <laughs> We're seeing temperatures about 13 degrees for Wednesday and only 14 for Thursday, but not to fear. We do warm up just in time for the long weekend. Here's Rachel now with a quick traffic preview. We do. We've got the risk of a few isolated showers today tonight and into tomorrow morning, not only isolated showers, but the risk of isolated thunderstorms as well. Moving on towards the Kansas area, we're going to be checking in with them throughout the day. And what you were seeing there was a tornado that touched down through the Texas region. All right, thunderstorm risk for us today. It's non-severe. It's very isolated around the shores of Lake Ontario, down through Hamilton and through St. Catharines. The more severe risk goes from Kitchener, Waterloo, down towards London and in through Windsor. Potential for small-sized hail, very gusty conditions, and heavy rain. Now, our rainfall amounts, we're looking at about 15 millimeters, but of course that number could go up if we do see the chan or if we do see some isolated thunderstorms little pockets of moisture firing up throughout the day today that's our best chance later on this afternoon and in through tonight to not only see showers but isolated thunderstorms firing up that risk continues through the early part of tomorrow morning but then we do start to clear out as the showers and thunderstorms really start to dissipate now we do have Temperatures cooling down midweek. We're looking at 13 degrees for Wednesday. It's going to feel more like April, but not to fear. Everybody's thinking, okay, what's the long weekend going to look like? Temperatures are going to be warming up to just slightly above our seasonal average. I'm going to turn things over to Rachel for a quick preview on traffic.
Hi there. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Monday. It is May the 11th, and I'm hoping that you enjoyed our beautiful Mother's Day weekend. I mean, we saw temperatures get into the mid-20s, in some cases to the low 30s in many areas, especially on Friday. It was hot, it was humid, and unless, of course, we do see some thunderstorm activity, and then that could go up the amounts. Let's join Kevin Yard now. He's in Port Credit, Ontario, and Kevin, it almost looks as though the fog is getting worse behind you. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Rachel. Well, today we've got a cold front coming through and that's going to add to the intensity of the thunderstorm risk, the heat, the humidity, certainly playing a big factor, especially down towards the southwest later on this afternoon and in through this evening. That's kind of our best chance to see those convective showers. Now, behind the slow, we actually have a lot of Arctic air filtering and see that blue up through northern Ontario. You know, that's snow. We're not going to see snow, but our temperatures are certainly going to be dropping. We're looking at 13 for Wednesday, 14 for Thursday, but not to fear, just in time for the long weekend, our temperatures return to more seasonal values. Hi there, good morning. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Monday. It is May the no May the 11th, pardon me. <laughs> After a record-breaking hot weekend, we are going to see a cool down midweek, and I'll have those details coming up in your long range. But first, we're going to be checking in with our very own storm hunters, Jacqueline Whittle and Mark Robinson. They are stateside. And you guys, we have seen some spectacular video over the last few days that you guys have fed back to us. What's on the agenda for today in terms of storm hunting? All right. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, they've been incredibly busy literally since they left Ontario last week. They've been sending in some incredible video. Check it out on our website as well at theweathernetwork.com. Now, that thunderstorm risk for us in through much of the GTA, we're looking at isolated, non-severe. So it could be one of those days where Barry sees a thunderstorm, whereas in Whitby, absolutely nothing. But down towards the southwest, daytime heating, heat and humidity certainly going to be playing a big role and when this cold front comes in on how severe the storms are going to actually get with these storms, we could see some small hail, the potential for strong winds and heavy downpours. Less than 15 millimeters of rain, but of course, if we do see some thunderstorm activity, that number could go up. We've got little pockets of moisture firing up throughout the day today. We are going to be seeing that risk for isolated, non-severe cells firing up later on tonight through the overnight and then continuing into tomorrow morning. That's when things start to dissipate and then our temperatures, they take a big flip. We're going to below seasonal averages for Wednesday into Thursday, but don't fear, by the time we get to the weekend, we do warm up to above seasonal levels. Hi there, thank you for joining us on this Monday. It is May the 11th, I'm Emily Vukovic. Over the weekend, we saw record-breaking heat throughout Southern Ontario, where they were not dealing with warm conditions, is in through Colorado. A lot of active weather. They saw snow, they saw tornadoes, they saw hail. It was a messy weekend for them. For us, all we saw was sunshine, heat, humidity, and a couple of thunderstorms <laughs> on severe thunderstorms. Now, our thunderstorm risk stretches all the way from Kingston up through Barrie, Owen Sound, through Hamilton and St. Catharines. That's where we're going to see those kind of isolated, non-severe cells firing up. Where we could see more severe weather is down towards the southwest, where we're looking at the potential for some small-sized hail, strong winds and heavy downpours. Now, and it's just going to be happening uh, ahead of this cold front and right along the cold front because we are still going to be relatively warm and a little bit humid today. We are going to be seeing that warm air hit that cold front and that's where we can see those convective showers. Now behind this, look at this, this is snow and mixing up through uh, northern Ontario. We're going to feel the effects of that. <laughs> we really are. Uh, coming up, we are going to be seeing a cool down in the forecast. Rainfall amounts for today and into tomorrow, we're looking at about 15 millimeters or less. Of course, if we do see some thunderstorm activity, that number could go up. But remember that snow and mixing I was just showing you through northern Ontario? We're not going to get the snow or the mixing, but we're certainly going to feel that Arctic air. 16 for tomorrow, 13 for Wednesday, that's April, uh, 14 for Thursday, but it's short-lived. We warm up by the weekend. Time to take a look at the long-range forecast. I'm Emily Vukovic, and joining me, meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum. So now that we've gotten a beautiful Mother's Day weekend out of the way, what can we expect in terms of the long weekend, Doug? I mean, everybody wants to know because it's already felt like July. Do we yes. have a continuation of this? Well, it's not going to be quite as warm, but like this past weekend, we have that threat for some showers and mm -hmm. thunderstorms. Most of the time, it won't be raining, so don't panic okay. when you see that threat for rain in a okay. couple of the days. And the good news is, you know, we've had some pretty chilly, 
long weekends in the past. This will feel yes. more like the unofficial start to summer rather okay. than the farewell to winter. Now, okay. before we get there, we do oh. have a couple of days of rather chilly weather, mm -hmm. but the good news is this is the middle of the week where it's going to feel like April again, but a well-timed warm-up as we go to the pattern for the long weekend. Okay.